Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a video about something that um, I did just over Saturday and I thought this might be interesting for the uh, Monday vlog. Uh, some of you may have a Hastings or a Hastings Entertainment uh, store near you. Uh, some of you may not. I had been speaking with uh, Travis, uh, Planet Beer Wagon, and he had said that, that he's got a Hastings kind of in his area, so it's kind of all sp you know, spread around the country, but um, if you do, you may want to go by there and check to see if they're still having uh, their sale. They were having a comic book sale, which was buy two, get the third for free, and some of those were already reduced in price. There were several boxes I didn't get a chance to go through that were marked down to 49 cents. So you could literally get three comics for a dollar. And some of the comics I got um, were were priced fairly low considering they didn't even have a sticker on there telling that they were reduced in price. And you'll have to bear in mind that all the comics I'm about to show you, except for two, I got for about 20 bucks. And then the other two I bought at a different comic, uh, comic book store for... Uh, regular cover price like three dollars a piece so I got the entire haul for roughly about 26 bucks so I'll show you what I got and these are sort of random but it's some things I've been thinking about picking up and then once I saw the sale I just knew I uh, had to take advantage of the opportunity I had to pick them up and like I said before uh, I'll have to apologize if um, if there's a glare or if there happens to be a little you know, moments where it's hard to see. Um, I was unable to use my flip cam this time. It's actually the uh, the battery's dead. I need to charge it, so I'm using my webcam. So, but yeah, let me get into these. I'll show what I got. I actually picked up uh, Zatanna, and uh, this was a series that I really enjoyed looking at the covers because it was kind of cool. Um, I, I really enjoyed the artwork on this, but um, it took me a while to actually decide to pick this up just because uh, every comic book store I'd been to didn't have all of them. And in fact, the earliest issues were the ones that were missing. This is one of the few issues I actually had to buy separately at another store, but I got it for three bucks at that store. Um, these other ones here, including this is a variant cover number two uh, here. But as you can see, every one of these, and this one actually says up here, uh, $1.99 and it was actually 99 cents so then I was getting after it was marked down to 99 cents then they were doing buy two get third one for free so that was even a better deal but um, actually was able to get the entire series up until what was available uh, this one here this one here and this last one these were on the shelf and were not bagged and boarded like the other ones, and they still rang up as 99 cents. I was blown away. I was actually uh, just couldn't believe it. And that was uh, some cool comics I really wanted to get. But this is the actual real reason I started digging through their comics. I had uh, been speaking with Travis, Plant Beer Wagon, and he was telling me about Chew, uh, a series that I had actually heard of, but I didn't know much about, but I knew it was really getting uh, a lot of word of mouth and it was getting a lot of publicity from uh, critics and fans, and everybody was talking about this series. So let me show you what I was able to pick up there. This is Chew. Uh, this here is the reissue of number one. It was a dollar issue. That's the cover price. It rang up normally. Uh, here's number three, and I think this might be a first print. I'm not really for sure, but that's a pretty hard one to get. Uh, number four, number five, six, as you can see, marked down to $1.99. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and this is the Pulp Fiction uh, version. There's a Reservoir Dogs reprint of this um, for number thirteen. So number thirteen with a Pulp Fiction cover, which uh, and fourteen was marked down to ninety nine cents. Uh, Fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Um, I got all those, and then the other comic I got from the other comic book store was uh, an Intrepid's number one. I had been hearing a lot of things about this. This just barely came out, and I assume this may be similar to like a uh, Umbrella Academy type series. Uh, but yeah, I got this one also, and this was three bucks. I got this when I picked up the uh, Zatanna number one. 
So as you can see from this humongous haul of comics, and, and keep in mind that most of these came bagged and boarded. I only supplied about maybe five or six of my own bags and boards, but I got this entire haul here, which was almost an entire run on Chew. I'm only missing uh, issue number two. But yeah, this entire haul was 26 bucks. So that, that's just amazing. So if you have a Hastings near you, you may want to go check. Um, the back issues are really random. You may have to do a lot of digging because they're pulling out some of their long boxes and setting them in separate sections of the store. As far as I know, every single comic book was marked uh, buy two, get a third free. And a lot of their back issues, including some of the, the really current back issues, like just from two months ago, um, are marked way down. So as you can see with... Uh, 26 bucks goes a long ways in comic books. This easily would have cost me probably 75 or 80 dollars anywhere else, um, just for the fact that uh, you pick up 18 comics even at cover price. Uh, right there is almost 60 bucks, and then you pick up another 10 at 30 bucks. You know, it's probably closer to 90 or 100. So to get this for 26 dollars was huge. In fact, I probably went in there thinking that I was only going to spend about 20 bucks anyway and when I got to the checkout I was really kind of uh, disappointed because I thought oh man I bought a bunch of stuff I probably shouldn't have got and I spent too much money even with the sale and when it rang up I was actually if they weren't about to close I probably would have went back and bought some other things just for the fact that I didn't want the sale to end before I looked through everything um, it was kind of on just uh, like a random hunch. I'd been out all day and we just decided to go by there, my girlfriend and I did. And we stopped at Hastings maybe 15, 20 minutes before they were about to close. So I literally barely got to walk in and walk out with these. Uh, so I didn't get a chance to hunt very much for what could have been a lot bigger haul and for not very much money. But yeah, if you've got a Hastings near you, you may want to go check and see if they're doing their comic book sale because there's some great stuff out there. Um, if you're a fan of any of these comics, especially Chew, um, those comics are going for crazy ridiculous amounts, um, especially like early ones like that number three. Um, first prints of uh, number one, number two are you know going to be almost impossible to find, but three, four, and five first prints are still going for like five to ten bucks a piece. So to get those for maybe a dollar or less would be awesome, kind of like this. But uh, yeah, um, so Hastings, super comic book score here. Um, and that's about it. Uh, next week, I'll try to do, try to get something going here to do a uh, contest of some kind and it's looking right now that it it possibly could be uh, comic book related so if you're into comic books uh, check back next week there's a good chance that's what the contest will be about all right thanks everybody take care